VFR sectional charts pack a lot of information into small spaces. We spend a lot of time learning the important elements of what's on them, but sooner or later, you're bound to see something you're not familiar with, and you don't always have time to reference the legend or the aeronautical chart user's guide to decipher them. So let's cover some uncommon sectional chart elements. First, when looking at the information about this airport, 99er Victor, we see the note RP25, which means that runway 25 uses a right-hand pattern as opposed to the standard left. But then we see a comma followed by the letter E. If we look at the chart supplement page for this airport, we see that in addition to runway 725, there's an east-west runway, a turf strip, used for gliders. So this east-facing runway is also using right pattern. This keeps aircraft away from the higher terrain south of the airport. Next, we see a symbol in maritime areas a lot that looks like this, a dot with some letters next to it. These are lighthouses, or more specifically, marine lights. The aeronautical chart user's guide interprets the letters, here, this is a flashing lighthouse. It's the Cape May Lighthouse at the tip of New Jersey. Many of these make good landmarks, so be on the lookout for them on your charts. Next up, we have what looks like an information box for a VOR station, Good Springs but there's no hexagon symbol we normally find at VOR stations. Instead, there's just a square. That's because this is a standalone DME station. We can tune to it with our NAV1 and pick up DME distance in the identifier signal, but we're not able to get any VOR navigational signal from it. Next up, we have this shaded area. Be careful because so often when we find shaded areas on the map, they denote where Class G airspace goes from the surface to only 700 AGL, and then it's Class E above that. You normally see that above some non-towered airports to bring controlled airspace closer to the surface. That's not what this is, though. Instead of the shading being on the inside of the area, this one is on the outside. The area within is where controlled airspace, that is Class E, doesn't begin until 14,500 MSL. And everything below that is on controlled Class G. It's very rare to see Class G airspace go all the way up this high, but here is an example in New Mexico. In the same vein, here are some rare airspace indications near coastal Virginia, and you usually see them in coastal areas. They're showing where Class E airspace begins, either at 1700 MSL or 5500 MSL further out, with Class G below that. Anytime you see something you don't recognize, have a look at either the chart legend or the full aeronautical chart user's guide, which is a terrific resource to learn more. Let us know in the comments some other uncommon chart symbols and check out Flight Insight training and more at the link here and in the description.